last week I mentioned that the baby is in a posterior position which means that the baby is facing the wrong way and will cause all kinds of problems for labor and delivery. Today I went and saw a chiropractor. She said for sure the baby is posterior. We're gonna try to flip it for you. So I got it totally adjusted. I also had my midwife appointment today. They checked the baby's position. Good news, the baby had flipped and no longer posterior. So that's like amazing news. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, now that the baby is in the proper position and I'm 40 weeks pregnant. 40 weeks? 40 weeks. I can start doing some natural ways to help induce labor, encourage the baby. It's time to come because all four of my kids have gone to 42 weeks. We all know like the longer your kid is in you, the bigger the kid gets. And I'm not ready to have another 10 and a half pound baby. That one right there, 10 and a half pounds. <laughs> Before I go through these natural ways to help induce labor, let's go make some coffee. of the family here and we're gonna try some of these natural foods and these two girls have agreed to eat whatever we eat yeah and we'll just see how this goes all right <laughs> the first thing we're gonna eat is an organic pineapple see daddy already made a mark oh I think we're there <laughs> this okay, thing feels like out. it's dancing all right you ready 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 yeah I think daddy needs a towel oh there we go look at that Whoa. I'll go get one no, Daddy. Daddy. There's a hole in the middle. Daddy. Oh, that was good. It just... No <laughs> fries. There you go. I don't my... It gets me sour. So after we eat this, I'm gonna eat another one. Because I gotta eat a whole pineapple. Mm -hmm. What's What's number two on our uh, list? Watermelon? No. Um, dates? Dates. No! Should we do dates next? Yeah. These are giant organic like this dates so these things look exactly like roaches. madagascar hissing cockroaches if you ever go into a store don't ever ask the grocery people do you guys sell any dates here because that just sounds kind of <laughs> weird <laughs> i was like i was gonna go ask somebody because i didn't know where they were and i was like that sounds kind of weird like how do you i don't know all right all right everybody grab one Sorry, go one why does it look like it's dirty like there's two on Ew. <laughs> Three. Oh, big seed. That's good. Yeah, big seed in it. I like it. <clears throat> I don't. Dates and pineapple are supposed to help get your body ready for labor. You're supposed to eat like eight of these what? a day. Yeah, but these are giant. You probably only need to eat four of these. Sriracha beef jerkies. It's going to be pretty hot, and I guess hot stuff. It's supposed to irritate your body where it will trigger labor did you guys all sign a waiver <laughs> okay mm, it looks good i can't did you put it in your mouth mm -hmm. it's not hot yeah that was a fail <laughs> i thought like sriracha is like super hot so i'm gonna go get some buffalo wings i'll be right back are you really getting <laughs> yes you ready yep. don't move you ready watch them appear one, two, three. All right. You, I so, can smell the heat <laughs> on that. No. So this hot wing place had four different hots. One was mild buffalo, one was medium buffalo, one was hot buffalo, and the last one was extra hot. So I got the oh hot goodness. buffalo. Got one, two, three. <laughs> Ew, I need the bone. I didn't even 
eat it, I just breathe it in. I heard a crunchy. <laughs> 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 Give mommy a napkin. Mommy's eating the last one. Phew, come on, hurry up. Oops. I hope this is safe. <laughs> I feel like my nose is running too. Yeah, well, my right. life can happen. Well, hot buffalo <laughs> sauce sure gets you, <laughs> gets you burping. It gets your heart beating. I think I'm gonna just be eating pineapple and dates for the next couple days. Well, we're not done with all the food ways to induce labor. We have one more thing to do. Um, raspberry, red raspberry leaf tea. I have been making, and that's supposed to help get your body ready for labor. And you can drink like a lot of it. And I do a, like a strong dose of it. So it's like a tincture. If you don't know what that is, it's not like a tea. It's stronger than a tea. It's like concentrated. Let's yeah. check out the process of making We're some make some tea, some inducing tea. <laughs> That's what Savannah calls it. Yeah. I don't know if I can see you, Mike. <laughs> that sounded weird. I'm gonna drink all this tea and I drink it once a day. And that's supposed to help get things going. You know what else helps? Ugh, is bouncing on the ball. <laughs> Mike's here to support. <laughs> all right, now that you have a full belly of all tea. All that tea, red raspberry leaf tea and it's literally sticks and leaves. It's not the packets that you get at the store that has tea and you just put it in your cup. No, I mean, you saw it. <laughs> There's another thing that really helps and that is walking. And what better place to go walking than at the beach? Right, and that's where we're gonna go. <laughs> Mike graciously stayed home with the boys so that I can get out, relax, and just have time with the girls and just take some relaxing walks. The girls are gonna get into the water. And I'm gonna be eating my dates as I'm walking. All right, do you guys have any suggestions to help induce labor? Any other ideas I haven't mentioned? For one, castor oil is like a really good one, but it makes you so sick, and I'm not ready to be sick right before I go into labor, so that will be my last option. Let us know if you have any ideas. I'm gonna finish my dates and finish walking. Us, get going. Uh, we walk all the way to this jetty, so we're gonna head back and finish this walk strong. That's uh, a good walking in.